Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial with PSD Box. This tutorial is about a free software that I use to make this uh, kind of abstract uh, shapes. And people have been asking me what uh, software I used uh, and how I made this kind of uh, abstract shapes. The software that I used um, it's called Chaoscope, and it's a free it's a free software which you can download from the internet. And I used that to make this uh, this pack, uh, which I call the Light Shape Mega Pack, and which you can download from my website. And you can see I have um, nine thousand do downloads already. Just go to Google, uh, type Chaoscope. Uh, let me go back. Just type uh, Chaoscope. Click here. Go to their homepage. Go to the uh, to the download section, and here have the the download link. And after you install it, once you open it, you have this window here. I'll show you how I made uh, some of those abstract shapes. If you go to the open menu, you have a list of presets that come with the program. And let me open, for example, this one. And this is the attractor window, which you can, uh, where you can change the shape of your, of your, of your fractal. Actually, these are called uh, attractors, not fractals. Here you have um, another window where you can change the properties, uh, the gr the colors, and uh, the render type. So let's start a new, a new, a new document. So click new. The type that I'll use, uh, which you can, uh, the type that I use most of the times is pol polynomial function. The function, let's leave it to abs. The only thing you you cannot change uh, once you create the document is the size. So make sure you have the right size. And the red, the render type that I use most of the time is light. And click OK. This is where my shape will be. The way I made those abstract shapes is using random uh, random settings. I didn't uh, make all of these changes manually. So I use keyboard shortcuts. Uh, go to the attractor menu and you'll see that you can create random shapes using the F3 key. So if you press F3, you will create a random shape. And if you click on it and move around, you can, uh, you can uh, spin it around like that. I usually like this kind of sharp, um, sharp kind of uh, shapes with these uh, pointing edges. Once you get the shape that you like, you can use this uh, same gradients, or you can press Ctrl and R to change the colors, and just uh, keep pressing Ctrl R until you get the combination of colors that you like. I don't like this one. You cannot edit this manually, so you only have to. You can only use um, random gradients. I think you can download from internet, but I don't. I didn't uh, investigate too much on that. You can also change the brightness and the gamma from uh, from here, but I don't know why I cannot do that on this. Uh, maybe because of the gradients, I don't know. And of course, you can use the. You can zoom in and out. Uh, you can change the render type from here as well. But as I said, I usually use the light. And if you want to have the same base uh, or similar shapes to this just to reduce the randomness to about one or, or five and just press F3 again and you will have a similar shape but uh, slightly different okay this one looks nice and if you want to render this uh, here you have the settings quality the more zeros you have here the better the quality but the longer the rendering time so I'll press uh, F3 a few more times until I get something that I like. I'll increase the randomness. Okay, let's go with uh, this shape. And I want to try different colors, so I'll press Ctrl R to change the, the gradients here. Okay, I like these colors. And maybe let me spin it around, around just like that and zoom out using the mouse wheel. And now if I want to render this, let me type a new zero here because I want some more quality. The more zeros you have here, the more quality, but also the rendering time will be longer. And I'll press F4 to start rendering this. 
and you can see that the, the rendering time is 24 minutes and what I'll do is stop the render pressing the escape key and you can see I already rendered part of the of the image and I'll delete one zero and start the render again and now you can see that the time is cut to two minutes and what I'll do is uh, pause the video and wait until the render is done and show you the, the result okay so there's 10 seconds remaining from from the rendering time the, the render is done and if you want to save this as an image you go to file save image as and it saves it as a bitmap as a 24 bits image and a bitmap uh, is a lot bigger than any PNG file or any JPEG but it keeps all the quality let's assume you just click here and move and everything is gone now the render is still saved so you can still save this as, a, as an image just go to file save image as and it will save it uh, even though you moved it you can also save this as an attractor so you can open uh, you can open it later so just save just choose the save as option and it will save it uh, as a chaos Call project and um, inside that project you can have more uh, attractors or you can save it as a, an attractor parameter and basically you, you save these settings here so that's how I use the Chaoscope software to make those um, to make those abstract shapes in the future I will make uh, another tutorial uh, and I will show you how you can modify these uh, abstract shapes in Photoshop and how you can distort them and create uh, new, uh, new and really cool uh, shapes which you can use on your abstract designs but for now that's all thank you for watching and see you on my next tutorial